Uh, today's video, I'm just going to be doing uh, a loose, um, a loose painting. This is a scene of the galleon, and this is a fish and chip shop. Uh, it's quite sad, really, but I do know quite a quite a few nice places for fish and chips, <laughs> uh, as from our travels round and about. This is a place in Conway, North Wales. You can see there's my reference that I took. So it's quite a nice scene, quite a few details, but I'm going to be keeping it quite simple. So I'm really just, um, just giving the impression of the scene. You can see um, the obvious things like I've not included all the figures in the painting. And there's actually a car um, just passing just sort of in front of the uh, fish and chip shop itself. So I've not included that either. Instead, I've popped a car on the right hand side, you can see. So all these sort of things you can do uh, just to, um, just to make things easier or just to change things around. Obviously we um, try and make things as easy as possible. And if there's something you just don't like in the scene, then you can just always move it or um, tweak things around. So I'm just going nice and loose. You can see um, using my um, Windsor & Newton paints. Um, you can see I am using quite light washes and maybe I could have used a little bit darker. Not sure, but um you'll see I'll, I'll show you just in a bit if you keep watching i'll show you something quite interesting So this is quite an interesting building. I don't know what these um, sort of um, I don't I don't know even what they're called. These uh, interesting architectural details, um, but quite interesting. I've just done those in quite loosely, so I'm not following the photograph reference um, exactly. I could have spent a lot more time, but I didn't want to do that. My aim is just to. Do this as simple as as I can, and yet be quite effective in in um, portraying the scene. If you notice as well, um, I have painted over the figures, so you can see that. Just to keep that in mind, I know oftentimes I do like to paint round the figures. Um, just to make things a little bit easier. But this time I'm, I'm not too fussed and I just went straight over those. And now I'm adding my second darker tone. And by the way, this, this color is a mix of yellow ochre and raw sienna. Uh, the chippy is more of a blue sort of tone. Um, so I have used uh, pretty much the sky mix for that building, just with uh, more water in the um, into the mix. So it is a diluted version of the sky. Um, but this, there's a, a bit of a wall in front of this building, and there's actually some steps. Um, so there's some steps, and there's a bit of a doorway. I believe it does look like, from the reference, it looks like a bit of a doorway, um, maybe going into the building. Um, so we've actually had the fish and chips from the galleon and actually sat on the steps. You can't see the steps, but where the people are, just behind the people, there's some steps going up to the doorway. And we have actually sat on those steps eating fish and chips, which was quite nice. It was a nice day. Um, probably the day that I took this this photograph um, but we have actually been to this place um, 
four or five times i'm talking about the chippy as well uh so it is a really nice place and uh just a few minutes around the corner from here there's the harbor and you can actually go crabbing which is quite fun and uh oh by the way if you if you do want to go crabbing if you've not done it before then i do highly recommend that you get some bacon lardons or just bacon and sort of uh, rip into small pieces and if you use that you're guaranteed uh, you do get lots more crabs so that's quite quite a fun way to uh, make people jealous who are crabbing next to you um, but bacon the crabs actually, actually love the bacon so just getting on with the painting I'm using um, the same sort of mix from the building for the rooftops um, and actually my uh, camera overheated and stopped recording and that's why it just started and I've done the windows and a few other various tones um, that's all that's happened I have to keep my eye out because I paint in the conservatory so it gets a little bit warm in the conservatory anyway and um, I was actually charging as well so I think the combined heat uh, just shut my camera down um, so it's done it a few times but this time it did sort of make a difference to the video but you can see you've not really missed much I've just added those tones the windows and a few items of clothing on the people um, and that's the thing that I wanted to um, for you to pay attention to uh, like I said before I did uh, paint over the people but you can see here that they do almost look almost white almost paper white and that's the thing with watercolor you just got to bear in mind that uh, things do dry quite a bit lighter than what they do when you put the color down and so that's why I'm saying that maybe I should have done the buildings a little bit darker um, yeah, they do look quite almost white um, especially on video and I can just see the tones just slightly um, as I look at the paints itself, but from video it does look quite quite clean white. Um, so that's just one thing that you need to keep in mind.
I guess we're really lucky living in the northwest of England. Uh, we're quite close to Wales. Um, so we've got all of North Wales, which is probably an hour and a half away or something like that. And this is what we like to do uh, whenever we get a chance. Uh, we do like to travel to Landudno, spend the day there and then travel just just a little um just a little journey to this conway where we have our fish and chips and there's a few places as well that we like to get to uh, in anglesey which isn't too far a little island just off uh, north wales uh, so there's many uh, beautiful places in wales so we're really lucky i suppose um being able to get to these uh, sort of places lots of castles lots of history and um really nice sort of places to visit uh, wales is one of our favorite places uh, with it not being too far away as well so we'll be hoping to get there again soon uh, last time we did go to landudno uh, it was the first time that i actually went up the arm um so it's a, a mountain that overlooks the um the um the bay the heart of the the beach and the sort of front and i've also done a painting of that as well um so yeah so we're pretty much coming to the finish of this painting and what i often like to do is use my um ink pen so this is um sort of a fine liner and then obviously the final final touches i'm just dipping my liner brush into um, my tube of gouache it's a white gouache just to give these road markings and then just a few highlights on the people um, just indicating more of that sunlight and that's pretty much it and then it's just to sign the painting and then just set the tape off so you can see just just blobbing bits of white mostly on shoulders sort of arms and top of people's heads and it usually gives a nice indication of um, sunlight so just a few windows that i missed just on the side of the the galleon and that's it um just pop my signature usually i do i don't know why but i do like to sign it in the right hand side um, i don't know why that is and just removing the tape gently just to reveal that nice crisp clean uh, border and that's it i hope you like this video if you if you did enjoy this video please do give us a thumbs up give us a like um all comments welcome please leave me a comment um, let me know what you think of the video and obviously if you're not subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe uh, to see more content like this um, thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye